In the second session, uh, focused on mutations and DNA repair, uh, we will have a closer look at gene mutations. So, what are gene mutations? Gene mutations are, in simple terms, changes in the specific sequence of a gene. Gene mutations can occur at any time during the life of the cell and can be caused by many, many factors. Gene mutations can occur as a result of exposure to substances or factors that can cause DNA to mutate. And those include infections by viruses, exposure to substances such as cigarette smoke, alcohol, radiation, different chemicals, or exposure to UV. In principle, all mutations are heritable in a way that it will be copied during DNA replication. However, only mutations that occur in sex cells will be passed on to future generations. Again, only changes that affect the genetic information contained in the sex cells um, or reproductive cells will be passed to an offspring. However, also mutations uh, in somatic cells can lead to disorders. The only difference here is that those mutations uh, occurring in uh, sex cells can be passed on to the offspring. In order to understand uh, the types of gene mutations and also consequences of those mutations, we need to have a, a second look at the genetic code. So, I hope that all of you remember that the codons in the genetic code um, are made of three bases in a specific order. Our triplet code is redundant and um, it is used um, at the level of DNA, mRNA, and also during the process of translation. So again, um, the uh, information, uh, genetic information on the DNA is transcribed into mRNA and then finally translated into proteins during protein biosynthesis. So, what types of gene mutations can occur at the level of single genes? First of all, we can have an addition. Here, an extra base is inserted into the DNA code. Therefore, because the genetic code is a triplet code, all of the bases following the insertion will be affected, and the new gene is highly likely to be no longer functional. In order to highlight um, the consequences of the addition, I came up with a random triplet code, which makes sense as a sent uh, sentence, right? So we have this short sentence encoded by a triplet. Sam met bad men. So all of those triplets make sense. However, if we now add one letter to the code, we are changing all of the su uh, subsequent triplets as well. So we have a frame shift. Similarly, if we delete a base from the DNA code, all of the bases following the deletion are going to be affected and the result is going to be the same. The new gene is going to be changed because we are changing the triplet code. And again, I will use the triplet um, example here that I used before. So the sentence is as before, Sam met Batman. If we now remove one letter from the triplet, we will have a frame shift and all of the following triplets will no longer have sense. The result of the point mutation, however, can be slightly different. Again, we have our triplet code, which makes sense. As you remember, genetic code is redundant. Therefore, many, many different combinations can actually um, uh, be used. Here, if just a one, um, uh, one codon is replaced or on the change, if we have change of one letter, all of the following um, 
um, triplets could still make sense. However, if this bit here is essential for a protein to function, this could actually change the meaning. And again, uh, genetic code is redundant. So this could be replaced by different letters with very, very different outcomes. We could still have the same amino acid produced by this triplet, but we could end up with um, uh, other amino acids as well. We could also introduce a stop cone, which would lead to a production of a shorter protein. So the new gene may still make sense, but the function or length could be changed. So um, here I would like to show you a short video highlighting what we have learned about gene mutation. A point mutation is a change in the nucleotide sequence of a gene. This can result from an error during replication that is not corrected by the usual repair mechanisms. Under normal circumstances, adenines and thymine should bind to one another, as should cytosines and guanines. In a base substitution mutation, a non-complementary nucleotide is incorporated into the new strand. The resulting altered triplet may code for a different amino acid, or even a stop codon. Here we see four codons and their corresponding amino acids. A change within the second triplet results in a change in the amino acid. None of the other amino acids are affected. Insertions and deletions result in frame shift mutations. The insertion of an extra nucleotide not only affects the triplet it is part of, but all subsequent triplets, thus drastically altering the protein product. The result is similar if a nucleotide is deleted. With this, I would like to end session number two, and I will see you soon in session number three. Thank you very much.